time for us to get started. We'll start with a silly joke. Let's see. What starts with a P and ends with an E and has thousands of letters? What do you think? What starts with a P and ends with an E and has thousands of letters? The post office. See? All right, down so you can see it. Starts with a P, ends with an E, <laughs> and is built with letters. That's our silly joke for the day, friends. Oh, I am Miss Cherry. <laughs> Welcome to story time. Uh, let's start with some stretches. Let's open our arms out wide. Let's say good morning to the sun. Good morning, sun. Let's say good morning to our toes. Good morning, toes. And let's put our hands together. And let's grab some flowers and a bubble wand and let's smell the flowers. And below the bubbles. Smell the flowers. And below the bubbles. Last time, let's smell the flowers and blow the bubbles. Okay, friends, let's start the day with a song. Let's see. It's time for... Let's sing Days of the Week. Ready? Let's get our hands ready for clapping. And we'll sing Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Hey, singing friends, today. We are going to read two very fun books about different types of mail. Let's get started, shall we? Let's have a seat and let's put our hands together. And this is going to be our book. So let's all make our book and let's take a look. A look at this book. Here is the cover. We open it wide. Here are the pages hidden inside. There are words and pictures. We look and we look and when we are finished we close up the book. Our first book today is a classic that maybe you have read before. I, if you have read it before I hope you like it because we're going to read it again today. Um, or if you haven't read this book yet, it's a really fun story. And it's called Click, Clack, Moo. Cows that type? Okay, well, I've never heard of typing cows before, but let's find out. This story was written by Doreen Cronin and the pictures were made by Betsy Lewin. And thank you to Simon and Schuster for allowing us to read the story today. <laughs> There's some cows. It looks pretty surprised. I'm surprised myself. There's a typewriter. I wonder what they're going to do with that typewriter. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type all day long. He hears click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. I wouldn't believe it either. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, 
Can be clap. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown. No, here it says, Dear Farmer Brown. The barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Oh my gosh, the cows wrote a letter on the typewriter. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said the farmer. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike and they left a note on the barn door. Let's see what it says. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. What's the farmer going to do now? No milk today, cried the farmer. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Let's see what it says. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like an electric blanket, and they'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. How do you think Farmer Brown's going to take that news? The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sin sincerely, Farmer Brown. Hmm. What do you think? How will the cows and pigs react to that note for cows and hens? Duck was a neutral party. There's Duck. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door. Early the next morning, he handed Farmer Brown a note. Here's the note. Let's see what it says. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Let's see if this works. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. <laughs> And look, they got their diving board. <laughs> Those were some smart ducks, huh? And smart cows. That was called Click, Clack, Moo, Clack, Cows, but type a very fun story. Let's see. 
we are going to sing our bubble bubble pop song. Well, let's get ready to sing bubble bubble pop. So we're gonna take our fingers, we have one finger, and we're gonna make our fish swim like this, and then we're gonna go bubble 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 pop. Now get your hands ready. Let's start with one little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Let's see, what color should we do next? Let's do yellow. Two little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Swimming in the water, two little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Okay, if we take one plus two, put them together. How many is that? Three. So we're gonna have three fish. We had red and yellow. If we take those two colors and we mix them up, what color do we get? Red and yellow is orange. So let's do three little orange fish. Okay, three little orange fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little orange fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. That's a fun song and I think we should read another story. Let's read another story about the mail. I love getting mail. I love getting fun mail. And this story has some really fun mail. It's called, It Came in the Mail by Ben Clinton. And thank you again to believe Simon and Schuster for letting us get read this story with you today. It came in the mail. Hmm. There's the mailbox. Let's see what's inside. Liam loved getting mail. Hooray! Too bad he never got any. Muggers. He checked daily. No. Hourly? No. Every few seconds? Yes but found diddly squat. But then on a day, much like any other, an idea struck Liam. Hmm. Oh, hit him right in the head. Ouch. If he sent some mail, then maybe he'd get some in return. Gotta go write a letter. See ya, Jamal. Uh, uh, okay. Not sure who to send something to, Liam sent a letter to his mailbox. Dear mailbox, I would like to get something in the mail. Something big, please. Love, Liam. As soon as Liam put the letter in the mailbox, it began to shake. It made all sorts of strange sounds. Whoa! When Liam looked inside, he was met by a blast of fire. A dragon had come in the mail. And it was for Liam. Liam loved the dragon, but he couldn't wait to see what he might get next. Dear Mailbox, thank you for the fire-breathing dragon. It is just what I wanted. Can you please send me stuff, please? Love, Liam. P.S. You are the best mailbox ever. <gasps> Whoa. Soon the mailbox was spitting out all sorts of things. Pickles, pigs, a whale with wings. What? Oh, there it is. There's the whale with wings. A trombone, a triceratops bone, even a bunny bone. 
Liam liked it all. He liked it all so much that he wanted even more. Dear Mailbox, you send the best mail. I would love it if you sent me a gazillion more things. Wow, that's a lot. <gasps> Freak. Rumble, uh, oodles and oodles of mailbox, oodles and oodles of mail flooded out of the mailbox. Whoa, that's so much stuff. Let's see, there's an octopus, an elephant, a pig, wearing an eye patch, a flying horse. Oh my gosh, too much mail. <sighs> what? What, what was Liam to do with it all? Whoa, awesome. Looks like Jamal thinks it's pretty cool. And then another idea struck Liam. He probably wasn't the only kid who had ever wanted to get mail. Have you ever wanted to get mail? Yeah, it's pretty fun, huh? Oh, there he goes. Where are you going now? Gotta write a letter. Again? What's he going to write about? Dear Mailbox, thank you for all the mail. But I think maybe it's too much for just me. Can you help me send some of it to other kids? Love, Liam. With some help from the mailbox. Ugh. Liam was soon mailing things. Oh, wow. Lots of cool things to lots of cool places to kids all over the place. Liam found he rather liked sending stuff. He liked it so much that before long, almost everything was gone. That was okay with Liam. He could always ask the mailbox for more. But maybe some other time. Ooh, looks like they're having fun riding those flying horses and dragons. And then there he drew a picture of Liam and his dragon from Liam to the mailbox. That was called It Came in the Mail. It's a fun story about getting fun mail. All right, friends, it's almost time to say goodbye. So let's do our goodbye song. We're going to do, we haven't done this one in a while. Let's stand up and let's tickle the stars and tickle our toes and turn around and hand around. Don't pet your nose. Reach down low and reach up high. Story time is over. Let's wave. Bye-bye. Bye, friends. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you at the next story time.